Thanks so much, Elizabeth. It's Tail Wagger of the Week Friday, and today's Tail Wagger is Bubbis. And here to tell us all about her is Animal Humane New Mexico Marketing Manager, Laura Kuchenmeister. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming in. And we also had the relation, the Community Relations Manager uh, there as well, Courtney Webb. Hey, Courtney. Hi, good morning. Tell us a little bit about Bubbis. Sure. Well, Bubbis just came to us recently. He uh, was transferred to us from Rama, New Mexico. Okay. And uh, he's five years old, a shepherd uh, healer cross, and Aww. is super friendly. I just met him this morning, mm -hmm. and um, he really adjusted to my car super well. I think it's probably a new experience for him. Uh huh. But he seems to love meeting everyone. Oh, he has been super sweet and super curious, sniffing. I think all the other dogs that we've had in here, look at him, there he is going again. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we should get him adopted. Do you know what his back? Back, the background story is on him by any chance or no? I, I think he was um, just a res dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's like my dog. They're yeah. the best ones. I adopted mine about six or seven months ago. Yeah. And it's just been a blessing. Oh. Well, um, tell us a little bit about this Brick campaign. You guys have a Brick campaign going on right now. People can honor a pet or loved one by purchasing a Brick while at the same time right. as supporting. So can you tell us more about it? Courtney? Absolutely. Or, Absolutely. We are. Um, we are just a few months away from finishing some really great improvements to our facilities that will really make Animal Humane New Mexico one of the top shelters in the nation. Fantastic. Um, there, some of the results we've seen already from mm -hmm. completed projects are shorter lengths of stay, less illness, stay. Um, and less stress for the dogs. Yeah, so the facilities really, are so nice. Absolutely. So um, to cap off the $5 million campaign, we do need to raise another $76,000. Okay. And so we've launched our Brick campaign. So people can go to projecthumane.org um, mm -hmm. and buy one of two sizes of bricks with engravings that we'll install at a fountain on our facility. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. Oh. Well, um, Courtney, so you guys are having a Bark in the Park, too. Correct. Where can people take their dogs to come to one of the, the Topes game? This is all around the isotopes, right? Right. So Friday, April 18th, will be the fourth annual Bark in the Park at Isotope Stadium. Um, the Isotopes will be playing the El Paso Chihuahuas. So oh. what a better opportunity to bring out your furry friend and root it's on perfect. the home team. Right. Um, right now, tickets for that game are $7 for berm seating where you can take your dog. And you can purchase them on abqisotopes.com. Ticketmaster.com or at the box office. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Now, um, if you don't have a dog, it's okay right. too, right? Sure. And yeah. why is that? So, if you don't have a dog, you can come visit us this weekend. We'll be hosting mobile adoptions at the Petco on um, Old Airport Road up on the west side by Cottonwood Mall. We'll be there from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. With um, all these beautiful pups. Oh, so. so you could so, take someone home, a for make their home a forever. Home. That day, right there, yep. you can meet can meet your new companion. Well, fantastic! And once again, Bubbis, five years old, very yes. sweet, yes. and up for adoption, right? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks so much for coming thanks in. Thanks for having us. All right, stick around.